The driver headed toward our undercover camera is about to get caught in a trap. Here we go, here we go. That's an unmarked cop pulling out of his hiding hole. It's just another day on the I-75 service drive, and Hamtramck police are having a field day. Ticket after ticket after ticket. It's no wonder the speed limit here is 25 miles an hour. 25 on a freeway service drive? That's like shooting fish in a barrel, and people feel like it's a setup. We watched Gary Payne give police an earful and later tracked him down for an interview. What do you think's going on here? I think they're doing it just for the money. Just for the money. Geraldine Fertel also got popped on the service drive. She says it was her first moving violation in 40 years. I think that, that, that the economy is all messed up these days, including the city and whatever, and they're just trying to get people money. Folks feel like they're getting hammered again when they show up for court in Hamtramck. You'll see why in a minute. And we'll expose what one local reporter calls Hamtramck's dirty little secret. Now back to that 25-mile-an-hour service drive. Is this fair to people? Of course not. Uh, traffic in laws and traffic enforcement procedures should be based entirely on safety, never on revenue. Jim Walker is with the National Motorist Association, a group that represents drivers like you and me. 25 is not logical, and I would think it's probably also technically not legal. And Walker is not the only one saying that. I'm not aware of anything that would give that 25 any enforceability. Lieutenant Gary Meggie heads up the Traffic Services Division for the Michigan State Police. He took a 25 mile an hour spin down the Hamtramck service drive after 7 Action News called with questions about the speed limit. It didn't feel natural. It didn't feel reasonable. Um, it didn't even feel safe. Meggie says 25 on a wide open stretch of road like this is potentially dangerous. You will increase um, incidents of tailgating, lane changing, frustrated driving, um, all of those actions can lead to a crash. Lieutenant Maggie says 25 mile an hour speed limits are meant for narrow residential streets and densely packed commercial strips. He says by state law, cities are supposed to do traffic studies to justify their speed limits. Hamtramck hasn't done one. And while this speed limit has been there for years, the buck right now stops with Bill Cooper, Hamtramck's city manager and acting police chief. We're getting a lot of complaints about your speed limits. I've yeah. heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Happens from time to time. Cooper insists they set their speed limits to keep people safe, and they rely on the state and county to determine what the limit should be. But we drove service drives all over Metro Detroit. We didn't find one with a 25-mile-an-hour limit like Hamtramck. And the state told us they have no control over speeds on the service drives. That's up to the municipality, in this case, the city of Hamtramck. Really? Yeah, and we couldn't find another 25 anywhere in Metro Detroit on a, on a service drive. Well, we'll go ahead and take another look at it. You know, maybe 25 is a little slow. But it's not just the freeway service drive. Nearly every street in Hamtramck is 25. This industrial stretch of Holbrook and this wide section of Joseph Campo are 25. Police are writing tickets all over Hamtramck, raking in the dough. And here's the dirty little secret. In January of 2010, the local paper reported that the police union cut a deal with the city manager. They'd work overtime and guarantee $60,000 a month worth of tickets to avoid layoffs, and it's still going on. Bill Cooper confirms the deal, but denies there's a dollar quota attached. They said, we think we can do this. We said, great, we'll take the money if we can. So they've delivered, and we can't argue with it. They delivered all right. According to public records, Hamtramck police wrote nearly $1.4 million worth of tickets in 2010. That's 114 grand a month. They've been averaging just over 74000 a month this year. And ticketed drivers claim they get squeezed when they show up for court. They get called into a room one at a time out of our camera range where they're face-to-face -face with the officer who wrote the ticket. Drivers say the cop offers to lower the ticket to a no-point impede traffic if they agree to pay on the spot and they feel pressured to do it. I said, well, what if I see the judge? Well, if you see the judge, there's no guarantee. You know, you'll probably end up paying the whole thing. You end up paying $150 and the ticket. Well, you know, it's really kind of intimidating. We have had a couple of officers that come across probably the wrong way. When drivers take that no-point violation, it keeps their insurance from going up, but there's also a bonus for the city. It's good for the city, and most people don't know this. If you can write a ticket for a local ordinance instead of a state law on speed limits, then the city gets to keep a much larger percentage of the take. You get to keep more of the money if it's a no-point violation, too. Yeah, well, usually. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it's that. A win -win, we won't isn't argue. It? If, 25 uh, mile an hour speed limit. 
keep more of them. <laughs> it sounds like a racket, you know, I'm sorry, but... Well, I think that there's a couple communities look like they got bigger rackets than we got going. That's a surprising admission, but our expert says it's true. While Hamtramck is in a league of its own with the 25 mile an hour limits, Jim Walker says other cities in Metro Detroit are running speed traps too. There are lots of them. A uh, very famous one is Eureka Road uh, in Romulus behind the airport is underposted. It, it naps a lot of unwary visitors to Detroit. You pick up the rental car, come out onto Eureka and bang, they got you. While Michigan's Public Act 85 requires cities to do traffic studies to justify their speed limits, there's no enforcement mechanism to make them do it. Efforts to put teeth into the bill have failed. Bill Cooper says Hamtramck can't afford to do speed studies, but our expert says it only takes a couple hours per street to do it. We'll be watching to see if Cooper makes good on his pledge.